Hey guys, what's up? It's Jonathan with One Big Impact. So good morning and it is day eight of the One Big Impact 30 day challenge. And my subject here, uh, I don't know his or her name. I guess it's a girl technically, mannequin thing. But I wanted to cover something that somebody, everybody, somebody, everybody keeps asking about. And that is the arm fat, the flab or whatever that they're worried about. Um, and the they call them bat wings. They call them all kinds of interestingly great stuff. So there's lots of things that you can do, okay? There's lots of things that you can do and there's lots of things that you need to realize. First of all, you need to realize if your body has stretched out to a point that is unnatural, unfortunately, it's never going to bounce back 100%. That's just straight up. I'm laying it out there. I'm letting you know. Does that mean you stop and give up on your journey because you have arm fat? What the heck? No, absolutely not in no way, shape, or form should that even cross your mind. Okay? If you get to the point and you have massive amounts of excess skin sometime down the road, I'm not recommending surgery or anything like that, but you could look or talk to your doctor or physician about that. But there are some things that I'm going to cover that will help, okay? A lot of people are against surgery. I don't know that I would ever go to arm surgery, but if I had, you know, excess skin and a lot, I mean a lot, like if it was way down here or something, I might do it and not only for, uh, not only for health reasons, but also probably for aesthetics, look, self-esteem and stuff. So I understand those things, okay? I'm not saying I recommend surgery because I don't even know if it's safe. I don't know a damn thing about the surgery, okay? I would talk to a professional as far as that is concerned, but I would like to say if you have not hit your goal weight and you have not lost all the weight that you're trying to lose, don't even think about considering something like that. Remember, if you love yourself, you're going to love yourself no matter what you look like, okay? So keep that in mind, all right? The first thing is to love yourself and the shell that you got no matter what. Okay, I'm not over here saying, ooh, that looks real bad. Look, I got psoriasis, I got stretch marks, I got all these things that I, I suffer with all the time. I got all kinds of stuff going upstairs. Everybody's always said, you know, even a tattoo or something like that. People judge you on those things. Don't worry about what people are thinking, all right? Convince yourself to love yourself and that's all that matters because the only person that is going to be with you for the rest of your life guaranteed is you. That's the only person you got to make happy. So if surgery makes you happy, if getting fit makes you happy, if losing weight makes you happy, if wearing a long sleeve shirt makes you happy, if wearing a tank top or a two piece bathing suit makes you happy, do whatever makes you happy. Make yourself happy with yourself. Okay? Don't worry about what anybody else thinks. Because you're not going to be able to please anybody. You might be able to please some people, but not everybody. So stop. Okay? Stop being so damn hard on yourself. It's a natural process. We all, including supermodels, including fitness models, have things that make us feel self-conscious. And it's okay. Let's get started. So first of all, I want to cover a couple things that obviously can be... Well, get off me, bro. Jeez jocking me. Obviously a couple things that will help is going to be full arm exercises. I hear this all the time. People are like, well I need to work out my flabby arms. They hold up their arm and they say, okay, well it's this part of the arm that's flabby, right? So this would be the tricep. So this is what I'm going to concentrate on 100%. Okay, so and I'm going to try to explain this on my own arm, okay? So if I work out this part, although you are correct, this part, the tricep, is like 66% of the arm muscle. A lot of people don't realize that. If you want to look like you got bigger arms, focus on your triceps. But that being said, if I focus on this, this is only so much. I can only go so much on this part, okay? But if, and I'm going to relax it, see, see how that gets like a fatty look with the, what the hell just jumped in my mouth? If it gets like a fatty look, you, you rela relax, John, relax. You see how I, when I relax and then I tense up, it's different. Okay, so when I pull, it's relaxed right now, right? When I pull this, do you see that? Did you see that? 
Do you see it? Look at it again. Pull up. What muscle is this? Is this the tricep? Is this where the flab is? Absolutely not. This is the bicep muscle. So by working the bicep, making the bicep stronger, firmer, and exercising the entire arm, meaning the forearm, the, uh, the triceps and the biceps, everything is going to be able to benefit you. Now, stop thinking, I just need to work my bat wing, blah, blah, blah. You guys, think outside of the box, okay? Another thing is work your shoulder. As your shoulder gets bigger and tightened up, you are going to pull, and I won't be able to do it because my shoulder is super tight, but you're going to be able to pull. Let's see if I can show you. Do you see how it pulls? And it's just a little bit, but you're looking for a lot of improvement on a small area, okay? So you have a little improvement here, you have a little more improvement here, and I'm gonna show you a demonstration real quick, and I could show you, you could do skull crushers, you could do push downs, you could do bicep curls. The exercises are easy to follow, okay, and understand. But the important thing that you realize is stop focusing on one part of your arm, okay? There's only so much you can do with your triceps. You have to move it around and diversify. Also, full body exercises, losing fat and things like that are going to reduce your overall dimensions. So remember that, please keep that in mind. I wanna see if I talked about anything else here before I show you. Okay, one more thing before I run over here. When you focus on chest or back, a lot of people completely neg neglect those. Chest is also going to pull your arms and all the skin in. A lot of people are saying, a lot of women especially say, well, I don't want to look buff or whatever. Okay, that's not necessarily going to happen. You are not built like a man, okay? You have to try really, really hard in order to be able to turn into one of those she mans or whatever you know what I mean like so it's not just gonna happen overnight stop overthinking it you're going to tighten up your chest your chest is gonna be tight as you pull in on your chest your arm hopefully I can see your arm it's hard to see if I'm right here but you can see a tiny bit as you pull in on your arm and your chest everything else is going to tighten up as well so start thinking out of the box Stop thinking, oh, I got this bat wing. I need to focus on only that part of my body. It's not like that. So let's step over here real quick and let's talk about something, okay? So here's the back, right? Here's the back. Can you see me? Are you still there? Here's the back of my subject. We're gonna call her Jenny. <laughs> Jenny's wearing my shirt. So a lot of the times this is basically what you're trying to work on. You're worried about this. Stop. All right, we all got something to worry about. It ain't worth tripping over and making yourself feel bad. So like I said, you work on the bicep. What happens when you work on the bicep? You see that? It goes away, okay? When you work on the chest, you see that? What happens? It lifts. Now it's not a, a ton, but it does lift on the chest. Right here, what happens? All this tightens up and pulls in. And one of the most important and neglected areas that I feel is going to be probably the most pivotal point for getting rid of those bat wings or whatever you call them, is gonna be your back. Your back is going to be a massive amount of muscle structure that you can manipulate in comparison to the bicep, the shoulder. Think about it. You have this much space. You have, you have this much space on the back. You also have a ton of space on the chest. You only have a tiny little bit of space on the arms to work on. Even the shoulders are bigger than the arms. So focusing so much energy all the time on the triceps or whatever is just a simply a waste of freaking time, guys. Stop overthinking it. Look, chest, big development area. You can pull all this in, tighten all this up. You have lots of room for improvement. When you do, you pull all that in. See that? Now I know that's a drastic change, 
but these are drastic changes in your body. You have the ability to make huge, uh, huge changes in your body. Now, the other one, okay? This is the back. Now, I like to focus on the back because a lot of people don't focus on the back. It's a neglected body source because you don't see it every day. When you look in the mirror, what do you see? It's actually really hard, trust me. It's actually really hard to get even a picture, uh, a clear picture of your back or back development or something like that. So it's behind you, it's out of sight, out of mind. Don't ever think about it, meaning because you're focusing on your chest, your arms, your legs, your stomach, all those things you could always think. This can be the best thing for it because you probably have neglected it accidentally, but still neglected it. That, therefore, you can see the most development, the quickest, and the best results. Remember, when you're doing this type of thing, you need to track it. Track your overall dimensions. Track. Um, a skin fold test and stuff like that. You know, grab, take a picture or a video, grab a video and see, you know, before you start these exercises and do different things. Obviously, anything that strengthens your back, anything that strengthens any part of your body is going to be good and will tighten up sagging skin. Remember, it's not gonna put it completely go away, and that's okay. But hey, if you get some development and some massive improvements, it could be really good. So, look. This happens to be my favorite one. Now watch what happens when I pull it. Do you see that? That is the back tightening, okay? And obviously it would be more dramatic if the shirt wasn't so baggy. But look at that, look. If, even if I just pull a little bit, what happens? This all starts to pull. You're going to get all of this tightening and pulling in and away from those problem areas. So look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. The more you strengthen your back, the more you strengthen your back and your core, you're pulling in, pulling away, you're basically just grabbing the skin on your back and just pulling it in. When you pull in, where does it have to pull in? It's gonna pull from the loosest point of your body. Happens to be your problem area that you're worried about. You guys, don't overthink it, don't ever think that what you're doing is not working and don't ever think about giving up on your journey just because you have a problem area. I have a problem area, I'll be completely honest. Right here on my side, my love handles, is where I stretched out um, when I gained weight and had stretch marks and stuff like that. I have stretch marks massively under here. I have them on my stomach and stuff like that. That doesn't make me want to quit. That just makes me want to get further away from the point that got me to that level because I know if that happened to my body and I was damaging my body in that type of way, it's obviously not good for me. So I need to stay as far away from that type of lifestyle as I was before. You guys, keep up the good work. Be stronger than your excuses. If there's any questions or if you learned something from this video, please put it in the description below. If you'd like to know about any other exercise in the future, I hope you would please put it in the description below. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you're new here, please join us on Facebook. Our group is called Healthy Living for a Healthy Life. We have an amazing family family of awesome, beautiful members, and I don't care if you have bat wings, I don't care if you got love handles, I don't care if you got saggy skin on your stomach like me. It don't matter, man. It's just what it is. It's the bodies we're given, and it makes us stronger because we are every day developing towards a better and more beautiful future. Guys, keep up the good work. Have a beautiful day. Hashtag be stronger than your excuses. Hashtag one big impact. And remember to spread love, not hate. Peace. Okay guys, real quick side tip, side note, I'm sorry, I know I said I was gonna get going, but something a lot of people might be having the question, well what can I do to strengthen those types of body parts? As far as like the back, the shoulders, the triceps, the biceps, and the chest and stuff like that. So this is going to be something that is going to be in the links in the description below. Please use my links, yes I'm an Amazon affiliate and I appreciate when you do. Or you can go somewhere and pick these up yourself. The one I use will be in the description below. I also think it's probably a good idea to go ahead and get a multi-pack that have different strengths because different body parts is gonna be more developed and more stronger. Uh, more, and going to be stronger. <laughs> Let's speak English today, John. But 
it's important that you probably keep this with you at all times. The reason I like these so much is because if you're on vacation, a road trip, if you're at work for too long, this can be thrown in a bag, a purse, a backpack, a piece of luggage, in the trunk of the car or anything. So it can be a really universal type uh, utensil to have for your strength training and fitness needs now or journey. But something like this can be used in so many different ways. I have flip flops on, I just woke up. Don't smack yourself in the face with these. If you wanna search it though on YouTube, it's pretty funny, exercise band fails. So make sure you have a firm grip, but you could do lots of things. If you see right away, wow, that's actually activated my bicep right away. Um, nice slow movements, that's your bicep. You can do it behind you and that can work your triceps, different things like that, okay? This is also another one. I don't know if this will, that band will be long enough, it won't be, but you can actually, you can tie this band, which is kind of cool. So I can tie this band, right? That's why these are so damn universal. I want to say Brenda has one. Um, I think I've used, saw her using them. Now obviously be careful, maybe wear safety glasses, I don't know. But you can put this around you like this. Now, I can do chest, okay? Just simple chest flies, but it's good to be able to do, and you can see it just rests on your back, no big deal, okay? You can also do bent over rows for your back. You know, just simple exercises, simple things to be able to train on the go, okay? A lot of people are saying, well, I don't know what exercises to do. Well, I think I just showed you literally every single one that you can do for every body part that I just covered in that video. Now, the next thing, the last thing that I wanna show you is a shoulder exercise because that's the only body part that I didn't cover. Now, this is, you could do so many ways. You could do a forward to work that front deltoid there, okay? Or you could do sideways like this, guys, to work the side delts, okay? So it's up to you. Don't limit yourself. This thing is like five, 10 bucks. You can get the whole kit. You'll see it in the description below. You can get the whole kit. It's like five different strengths. This one I think is like 10 pounds or something like that. But these are great for beginner exercises, okay? You might not be a bodybuilder, weightlifter. A lot of people commented the other day and said, well, that's great for heavy lifters. Well, this is great for light lifters and beginners. This can be very non-intimidating. And it, believe it or not, even for myself, this can be quite helpful and awesome to have wherever you go. You can't bring those big barbells and bit bulky equipment on your travels and stuff like that, but you can always throw something like this in the trunk, your little kit, your little bag of three or four of these for different types of exercises. You guys keep up the good work and have a good day. Peace. Yes, they will be in the description below, guys.